Hello everyone, good morning and welcome to the second day of Adria Summit. Our first presenter today, hello, how do you uh, feel? Great. Oh, may we start like that? <laughs> yes, I'm fine, I'm fine. So, uh, today uh, Milos Ciric, consultant and lobbyist of M. Lobos, will tell us how to choose a partner and what you need to clear up. Welcome and enjoy. Thank you. Uh, let me start first from uh, my points, three very interesting views. First, we often hear uh, human resource professionals and leaders talk about how people are our greatest resource. But I don't think this is true. I think that the relationship, not, uh, not uh, people themselves, are the, those who are the most important for people, uh, most important tests of, uh, of that. If you don't have the great relationship, it doesn't matter. Uh, you can't uh, realize your results because you don't have uh, this, uh, relationship as this. Second one, in many ways, your relationship is a manifestation of you as you as a person. With our, uh, with our behavior, we train the people how to behave toward us. Let me repeat this sentence because I think it's really important. With our behavior, we train the people how to behave toward us. And if I'm the boss, then I train them how to behave toward others as well. So, so therefore, the organization is different than the buildings because uh, foundations of organizations are at the top. That's why it's so important that every manager understand that he, uh, he lead by example. The third one, Nearly all, if not all, conflicts in life comes from the mismatched or unfulfilled expectations. Uh, Nicholas, Nicholas Epley from the University of Chicago has done research that shows when we try, when we try to read our people's thoughts and feelings, we are with strangers accurate only about 20%. 20 with, uh, with friends, we are, this is near 30 and with spouses, we have 35%. So whatever you think your spouse thinks, you are wrong in about two-thirds of the time. So, <laughs> you know you know that. So people can read your, your thoughts and feelings very well. And if you don't tell, if you are not telling them, they either not gonna know, or they are going to make uh, mistaken assumptions very often. So my advice for everyone is, don't make assumptions, ask more questions. Open up a little bit more. Maybe less, less, about, uh, maybe less about facts, but more about how you feel. It is powerful and it makes, and, uh, and it's also uh, improve your relationship. Uh, usually we start the business with some of our good friends but very soon we uh, quickly run into unexpected unexpect, uh, pressures. You have different styles. You have different ways of working under stress and pressure. You, can differ, uh, you have different concerns. You have different ways of managing people. You have different tolerances. If that difference is not resolved very quick with a set of principles, about how, how to act, you blur, you blur the uh, clarity of decision-making process because everyone will act according to their uh, feelings. So even though you enter into, into partnership with really good intention, you must work for partnership and ask at, nearly, at least these questions. Know with whom you are dealing with this. We are not the same in all situations and at all times. We are really different than that. Understand the roles you need, to, uh, you need and what you have from your partner in relationship. Understand the boundaries each of us have. Create principles of cooperation. Understand what you need, that you need strategic approach to communication. Know when it's time to end the relationship. Uh, and this is the structure. Uh, about uh, what are we talking about. First, it's very smart if you do due diligence to know with whom you are really dealing with. Second, 
uh, you, uh, in order to achieve good life, you need three key roles from your uh, partners. You need appreciator or lover in private life, you need supporter and you need mentor. You also need to look for and test certain key qualities as adaptability quotient, uh, then openness to vulnerability and uh, humility. A lot of depends on them. You need to understand the boundaries. Boundaries determine the, uh, the framework of our activities. In order to function well, you need certain principles. Principles uh, principles, uh, principles uh, give us order, uh, give us predictability and also enable coordinate actions. In life in, and also in business, there are times when you need to know and you need to end, end such things. And also what is, for my opinion, even more important, you need to talk. You need to talk to clarify all these things Otherwise, you know you have a lot of problems. So as I told, as I told before, you need to do a due diligence. For my opinion, this is the answers you, is the answers you need to uh, uh, find the answer, uh, you need to find the answers. This is a, can I trust this partner? Do you have any, any proof for that? Does his, his character allow win-win relationship? If someone is too rigid, this is nearly impossible. How he or she behaves in past relationship, especially when you don't have, uh, then with the things don't didn't go according to his plans. Uh, I will really recommend you to pay attention to track records. Track records give you helps you to see to figure out uh, what someone is look like and what you can expect from them. Examine the persons has the required values, abilities, and, uh, and uh, skills. Someone is believable if he has uh, proven, proven track records at at least three or more successes in his life, and he also needs to explain how he, he achieved this. Otherwise, he's not believable. And so on, so on, all this. Unfortunately, we believe that we all have the same common sense. That other person should understand that, knows that even if you not tell them. But uh, if she loves me, she will know. But if you are not clear about, uh, about uh, uh, your needs, people don't want how to deal with you. Uh, so it's much better if you, if you explain things tell them exactly what to do, and sometimes you even know to tell them exactly how to meet this, your needs. And these, these things, uh, this such conversation is ex, uh, extremely important to do at the beginning in so-called um, infatuation phase. So you need to clarify all these things, otherwise you have a lot of problems with that. But first, what is the purpose of communicating? The word communication comes from Latin noun communica communication, which means sharing information, and word communicare, which means uh, to make common. So communication is not self-speech, definitely is not shouting. The purpose of communication is to make things common, to make common understanding. And our ego is usually the thing that prevents us from, from reaching the successful communication. My advice is that it, if you show genuine interest and desire of someone else by asking them questions, and more you ask, more you talk, it's easier. Then this improves your relationship very much. In every situation, you need to look at the greater picture and ask yourself what is the purpose of communication? What is the purpose of your relationship? Is? And you need to act according to this purpose. Otherwise, you have the problem. So we need to have constant conversation about our needs, about views and expectations. How do each of us see the relationship? This is change. What are desires of each of us? It also changed for the time. What are needs of each of us? What do we need to coordinate? 
what each of us must change, to what extent, what is acceptable compromise. Compromise is not what is the best for me, but what is available, uh, what is acceptable to all, all of us, all, to, for all involved, and also what, is, uh, uh, what enables achievement of the key goals. So, whenever you're talking about your needs, about your concerns, about your fears, whenever you uh, make very clear that you don't know something and you, do on, and you want to learn about it, you tell uh, someone that you trust them because you tell something, uh, because you're saying something that uh, could potentially be used against you. Some people think that this is weakness. But what is in reality, this means that asking people is incredibly flattering to them and you also, give, uh, you also get the information you need to, to, uh, to, uh, take, to give the best possible solution. So vulnerability invite everyone to ask questions, offer and uh, find the best, better solution that makes, uh, makes your, uh, makes your uh, business and your own uh, uh, leadership much stronger. Because of that, vulnerability is leadership competency. Uh, every shared life requires uh, some adaptation in order for the machine, for the machine to f function well. Uh, in other ways, you know you, you are the best working in parallel, but certainly not in the coordinate way. And you certainly don't, uh, not uh, get the best possible decisions. So the ability means your ability to constantly looking at the data to see any discrepancies and to be willing to pivot and make a change. Things change so quickly that, we, that every predictability about the future is like a bet. So we need to increase our, our, our ability to change and to adapt. Uh, work, relationships, work relationships are different from the private relationships, but it meets the same deep need, and that is the need that we need to feel uh, like uh, we, are, that we are value as a person. Uh, that's, I'm not simply the cock in the business machine. The word, uh, if, if you want to retain employees, you need to, they need to feel appreciated. Instead, 79% of all employees who leave the job voluntarily and go to another job says, say that uh, they left only because they don't feel appreciated. So the word appreciation need to be in private life must um, much more uh, specific than in, uh, must be in, pri in business life much more specific than in private life. Just saying uh, good job is not enough. You must be much more specific about that. Uh, so, also, you don't confuse appreciation with recognition. While recognition is uh, focused mainly on the performance or achievement of certain goals, uh, appreciation um, uh, is, fo faces on, uh, is focused on the value of, uh, of, uh, of uh, individual. We need to feel like we are valued. We need to feel like we have the support and understanding that we need, otherwise we feel lonely. When people feel lonely, their brain are, are uh, literally uh, look out on the negative. So supporter focuses mainly on, focused mainly on two things. First is act of service. Uh, this is actions that go beyond what is necessary and, uh, and uh, help you to feel appreciate or love for them. Uh, this is things like, uh, like, uh, like cooking dinners or washing dishes in the private life or, uh, or some small things that helps your, your colleagues' daily life get better in the workplace. Uh, so you need to deal with this. Other, 
other things is giving support to to activities with which you may be not agree with, but you accept them and uh, support because this is your uh, partner's passion. You, if you know what happens is usually we need some support for some activities we don't have, uh, that our spouse don't want it. Mentor. Mentor is in, Greek, in Asian Greek, this means friend, uh, guide for a life. We all need mentoring for. We all need mentoring for to improve our lives. How to choose a good mentor? Uh, after the first meeting, uh, ask yourself these questions. Uh, did I feel like this, uh, like this person, um, understand me as much as possible after the first meeting? How did I feel when I talking with that person? Did that person me, uh, uh, means at least one word, uh, at least one thing that made me uh, thinking? If the answer is not yet, yes, keep looking. Uh, boundaries, boundaries determine the framework of our activities. When we don't have the boundaries, uh, we have a lot of problems. We usually have a lot of problems with burnout, frustrations. Uh, we have become resentful of certain systems of certain people. So, if if you're if you're afraid to tell your boss that you are that you don't uh, don't want to be disturbed or calling every every night every day, uh, uh, then you are just step away from the burnout. So boundaries uh, helps you to prioritize your needs under the uh, uh, over the other people's wants. Uh, rigid boundaries, rigid boundaries uh, define what uh, what our needs are, and uh, that needs must be in a this way. But life is not rigid. We don't need the same boundaries with all people in all times. Uh, it all really depends of what helps us to, to feel comfortable and safe in, cert, in, in, uh, particu in this unique situation interaction. Healthy boundaries allow flexibility. Uh, healthy boundaries allow flexibility uh, be, uh, that uh, based on the circumstances and people involved in that. We assume that we all have our physical boundaries show us the level of comfort we physically feel. We assume that, we all have, that what we are doing is okay and that no one has the problem with this. But uh, the level of comfort that I feel can be very different uh, from, from what you feel. So in reality, people may feel uncomfortable. Uh, not necessarily because of us or because of you, but because of their... Uh, their own past experience or how they feel about closeness. So it's, I think it's very important if you check and test your opinion by asking such questions as, is it okay if, shake, if you shake hands? Do you want to shake hands? Is it okay? Are you okay with hug? Is it okay if I get a little closer? By asking such questions, you know, people feel much more comfortable with you. Uh, intellectual boundaries shows how we see the world. Uh, we have uh, very different views on politics, religion, and so on. And social media has spread the mentality that if we disagree with someone, we can freely attack him, humiliate him, or reject them. This is stupid. We can't eat meat and something and stuff like that. But uh, in re instead of attack people, we can also choose to ask ourselves this question. Is this perspective harmful or just different from mine? People are rare, rare on opposite ends. Usually we have just different, option, uh, different uh, opinions. So you, need, you don't, don't need to attack them. And people should have uh, different views. Emotional boundaries uh, shows how we feel about things that happen to us. Unfortunately, people like to tell how we need to feel. 
Why upset about that? You need just you you should just get over it. Or uh, why are you crying for? It's not so bad. This is not okay. In doing this, you know, we violate other people's boundaries, and uh, and also their rights to feel uh, what they feel as long as we would like to feel. Uh, we because what what is here is so important. We uh, each of us can experience different things. Uh, we can experience the same things and have complete different emotional response to that. And that and this is doesn't and that doesn't mean that what I feel is more accurate than what you feel. Which is, for me is one of more important things for that. Time boundaries is one of the things we suffer with the, with the most, you know. But we have a lot of uh, control and options to intervene uh, over how we spend our time and with whom we allow to do that. Maybe we need to to uh, utilize our time in a different way. Maybe not on long hours on social media or looking or watching TV, or for long conversations with our friends uh, and listening their complaints about some unfixable areas in their lives. We really need to figure out what we are doing with, uh, with time we have. Material boundaries are uh, all our things, our money, our property, our stuff. And we have a choice to, do, to allow what we, uh, what we allowed others to have for us. We have, uh, so we have, a, we could do a lot of these things, you know, but usually people, some people have problem also with this. We have a very different risk tolerance in partnerships, but one thing is certain, in partnership, we need to adapt to one with the lower tolerance. The same like, like, uh, it's same like um, rec running. If you want to perform as a team, you know, you need to adapt to the slowest one. But on the other hand, it's also important that by agreement, uh, uh, you rise this uh, tolerance step by step. Uh, certain systems come with certain boundaries. There are jobs, there are jobs that, uh, there, where the boundaries are already in place by having this job. As the, this, and this must be clear in advance. You know, you must be very clear about that, that people don't be shocked as, oh my God, I need to work until six. Absolutely. The part of working, uh, part of having this job is working within this time frame. So be honest and transparent about this. This is our expectation. Let people know immediately what the boundaries of the, of the business are and whether their boundaries or whether your boundaries of the workplace uh, struggle with, struggling with theirs. Uh, think about principles as uh, if you are in a certain situation, how you will deal with it. The principles are the smart ways to handle things that happen over and over again and uh, uh, in the same situations. Uh, principles bring order, give us predictability and enable coordinate actions. Everything starts, everything starts with, uh, with embracing reality and deal with it. Don't tolerate problems. Diagnose them to get to root causes. Don't jump too fast to the don't jump too fast to the solutions. Stay back and uh, reflect in order to really uh, really distinguish the symptoms from the disease. And organizing people to to complement to complement their strengths and uh, composite from their weaknesses is like conducting the orchestra. You need principles to play well. Uh, there is nothing more important than, uh, than um, understanding reality and know how to deal with it. To see uh, what, but to succeed it, you need to see more than you can see alone. 
there are two barriers, two biggest barriers where everyone faces are uh, our ego and blind, bar blind uh, spots barriers. These barriers exist because how our brain works. Our fears, our concerns are reside in areas then, uh, that control our emotions. And because our need to be right can be more important for us than our need to know what is true, we like to believe our, our uh, own options without properly stress testing them. That leads us to make the inferior decisions, learn less, and uh, also, also fail to fulfill our potentials. The, other, the second one is blind spot barrier. This, blind, this barrier exists when someone thinks that he or she can see everything. But the simple fact that no one alone can see everything. No one alone can see the whole, uh, the whole picture of, true, of the reality. Uh, that's, for example, if someone is, if someone is, uh, if someone is better to see, if, in seeing uh, the, big, the big picture, the others excel in details. When someone is, uh, when someone are, uh, when someone are uh, uh, creative, they are usually not reliable, and who is reliable re usually is not creative, and so on. So reality exists in very different levels, and each of them gives us a valuable perspective. Realize that you don't know everything, and it's, more, and it's better to know the truth than appear to be right or smart. Uh, invite every, everyone to invite others to tell you if you are wrong. Temporarily suspend your judgment to see others' perspectives. If you really want exceptional results, you need to replace the joy of being proven right with the joy to learn, to learn what, is, what, what is true. Uh, find believable people and talk with them, discuss with them. You can, you can, uh, you can go get the help of, uh, of uh, people if you ask them and uh, you try to see, uh, to see the things through other eyes. Going from seeing uh, things through the, just your eyes to seeing things through the eyes of other thoughtful people is like going to, from seeing things in black and white to seeing them in color. And to grow and thrive, you need three necessary endings. First is what is good and not the best. Second is what is sick and won't recover. And third, what is already dead. When we avoid endings or handle them badly, uh, we stuck in, 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 in uh, problematic situations miss out the opportunities, and also repeat the same mistakes that keep us to moving on. So start by seeing endings as a normal part of life, instead you seeing them as the problems. This moves your brain from, uh, this moves your brain out from uh, fight and fight mode to problem solution mode. Uh, let me conclude my presentation with this summary. Uh, it is smart to do diligence to know with whom you are dealing with. Uh, we need three key roles from our partners. Uh, understand what roles uh, you have from your partners and which one is missing. Uh, look for, for the certain key qualities which enables good coordination. This is uh, like adaptability quotient openness to vulnerability and openness to humility. Understand personal and establish business boundaries. Uh, you also need to, uh, to establish certain principles to function well. Uh, you must know where the times to, to need to end things. But above all, you need thoughtful conversation. Conversation is the heart of every, uh, of every uh, uh, relationship. So we can choose to uh, uh, adapt what I suggest, 
or you can be guided by things that go to go to your to, that come to your way. But then don't be surprised if one day you wonder how you got there. Thank you. It's time, time. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you.